And we continue learning Rabbi Yoyna Yoyimi on Mesil Sishar, on Perk Yavas, excuse me, with this incredible Hachzeik program, trying to slowly catch up to date. Says the Mishnah Perik Be'ez Mishnah Yud. Heim Amru Shleisha Dvarim. And who is the Heim? Who are these three people? Rabbi Yoyimi immediately say, Pirush Tamid Rav Yechem and Zakeh, these are the Talmidim of Rav Yechem and Zakeh. Vloisha Dvarim Belvad Amru. They don't only say three things. Keep Kama Kama Dvarim Amru. They said many things. El what does it mean that they said three things? They were ragil, they were accustomed to say three things daily in their each day. as the Gemara Brachas teaches us, It was a pearl, it was accustomed in the mouth of Rav, which are first two things that they said constantly. And what do they say? Rav Eliezer Aimer says, Rav Eliezer, the honor of your friend should be as dear to you as your own honor. Hilchais derech eretz shanu kan. This teaches us the halachas of derech eretz. Lechazir acher kavod chaviri to pursue not just to honor your friend, but more than that, lechazir to pursue the honor of your friend. V'yach boitz and to be eager and desire ki chabdu to honor him. Kasher chafitz bechvoid atzmai. To be, for him to be honored as you want yourself to be honored. Bhumi derech hamusar. And this is a derech hamusar. This is an ethical approach. Valti noyach lecha. It's number two. Don't be easy to anger. Yadua who it is known. Ki midazakas hi ro'o adme oid. It is very terrible. Ach teva b'nei adam. But it says, Rabbi Yoyna, perhaps a comforting line, that the teva, the nature of a person, is nimshach, to be drawn acharov after anger. Al kein amru. And therefore, they say, teaches the Chachamim Achar Shal Karch Chupamim Techayis. Since at certain times you're going to get angry, he's a hair. Be careful. Shaloite Noyach Lechayis. It's going to happen, but don't make it come easily. Vim Yachvayis or Tzayin Chayim Akas. And at the very least, do not become easily angered. And if you do choose to become angry, Tishkol B'Moznei Sech Lecha. Weigh it carefully. Im Ibnei Adavar Hu Aro Yilechayis. Is this a reason to get angry? And if there's any reason to not get angry, but lay you, be mavatel, rid yourself of that anger. So that it is fitting to become angry, then one could get angry. This is what Shlema Melech teaches us in Koyheles. Do not become angrily, angry quickly. For anger lingers. In the heart of fools. Ritzhan Alema, what does this mean? Shleyamayer lechais, do not become angry quickly. Kim beham tono letzayrech gadol. Rather, slowly and with a great need. Va'ahu yasa kimay exil. Do not be like a fool, exil. Kimem neisha akaz shaykhan v'chayka, since the anger is resting in his heart. Humemayer lechais, he pulls it out quickly. He quickly gets angry. V'lo yid, and he doesn't know limshal baruchai. To weigh. He doesn't know how to rule over his ruach, his spirit. And even though he doesn't need to become angry, and he knows it's going to get destroyed due to his anger. Still, he doesn't hold back. Like a snake. We see how terrible anger it is. It's like eres, it's poison. Like a snake that has poison in his teeth. According to some of the chacham, the Gemara and Sanhedrin teach us, what happens to the snake when a snake bites? The venom, the eres, comes out automatically. The snake doesn't actually have to spit it out. It happens automatically. So too is the anger in the heart of fools. The sham nimsa. There it is found. And the anger comes out on its own. A person is known by three things. Bekaisai, with his cup, how quickly he gets drunk. Bekisai, the way he handles money, and when he gets angry. And the, the, continues the Mishnah. So number one is the covenant of your friend. Number two is don't be anger, angered quickly. And number three is to do tshuva the day before you die. What does it mean to do tshuva the day before you die? You don't know when you're going to die. So it says Rabbi Yoyim, it means do tshuva today. Because tomorrow you might die. If any day you might meet, you call Yomav Tshuva. Every day you do Tshuva. V'zeh Shneimar. This is the pasuk in Kelos Chol Eis. You have a gadach levanim. Your clothing should always be white. You always be doing Tshuva. Shoshet Varim. I love these three things. My gilus to boom. There was been a hurkinus. We're a ruggle. We're like a pearl in the mouth. There was been a hurkinus. When they say, "Im Tavarim Shatzikul Chazim Tadir," because these are things that a person needs constantly. We'll pause over here and we'll continue this tenth mission on the second parak in the next year. B'siyato Dishmayo.